Hola, hola, mis amigos. Today we're going to talk about an amazing artist named Alma Woodsy Thomas. I just love her work so much. Um, she's talked about, I love this quote down here. She talked about how art is for all ages and all time. Uh, the creative spirit is in us to produce uh, whatever we feel necessary. Uh, so there's a creative energy in all of us and we need to let it out. And I think that is very true. And that's why we work to inspire and express ourselves every day. So Alma Woodsy Thomas was an abstract expressionist. So abstract, not like real life. Um, it doesn't attempt to represent reality, but rather seeks to achieve uh, its effect using shapes, colors, textures. So using elements and principles of design without realism. Then as an expressionist is seeking to express through their work uh, and their emotions um, rather than reality. So again, it's not like real life necessarily. It's just seeking to express that creative energy that is inside us that she liked to talk about. Um, also, her paintings look like mosaic tile works. So putting like little pieces together, almost like a collage, but uh, if you've ever seen a mosaic, those are like little glass tiles. So she wanted to, she loved painting and she wanted to paint as if she was doing a mosaic tile work. So she's kind of like tricking her viewers. Uh, it's an amazing style. So let's take a look. Um, here are real mosaic works. So if that word didn't uh, kind of trigger in your mind what you may have seen before. These are real mosaic works with glass tiles, like little pieces put together. You see the little space in between them uh, because they don't fit right up perfectly together. Um, these are all like jagged pieces over here. So they're like abstract pieces. But most of the time, uh, mosaics have like little squares or like little rectangles, like little Lego bricks uh, with just a little bit of space around them. So for instance, the grout is the space around these tiles. So it's kind of a sandy tan in this one, a darker grout, that space in between the tiles. And then here you have white, uh, which actually we will use too, because we'll have the white background of the paper. And that's what Alma Woodsy Thomas did. So think mosaic, but we're gonna be doing it with painting skills. So who is Alma Woodsy Thomas? Uh, she showed interest in arts as a child, making pictures, puppets, sculptures at home all the time, just creating and letting loose that creative energy. Uh, she did go to school to become a teacher and an artist, so kind of like me, I just can connect with her there, uh, going to school to be a teacher and an artist. She's best known for those abstract expressionist paintings that look like uh, mosaic works, and she lived and worked mostly in Washington, D.C., uh, our nation's capital. Um, and you can see all these works behind her. You can see those little pieces and you can start to see the white space around them. So cool. Uh, sometimes she worked in circles as well. So you can see the little pieces. It almost looks like a mosaic tile, but it is a painting. Awesome. Man, even her clothes have uh, that mosaic feel. So she was born in September of 1891. She did pass away back in 1978. She was the first ever student to graduate from Howard University in Washington, D.C. with a fine arts degree. So the first ever uh, student of all time at a university to have an arts degree. That's amazing. Uh, she taught kindergarten before she became an art teacher. Uh, she was the first African-American woman to have a solo art exhibition show at the Whitney Museum of Art in New York City. And I've been able to go to that museum before in New York City and it's just so cool to know that she was the first uh, African-American woman to have a show there all on her own. Uh, so it was only her work there at one point. Um, her abstract expressionist work deals with shape, value, rhythm, and her favorite, color. So rhythm is a principle of design that you know means uh, the same shape repeated over and over, but different size and different color. That's a principle. But then shape, value, color, those are amazing elements of design. Value, light versus dark. Uh, shape, you know your shapes. She liked to use uh, mostly the rectangle and square, like little brick tiles. And then color, oh, color is my favorite too. And it was her favorite. Uh, she said color in her paintings is paramount. 
the most important thing. Through color, she sought to concentrate on the beauty and happiness in the world. Um, color is what made her most happy and making her art made her happy. And that's what she wanted to focus on. So instead of focusing on the negative stuff, focus on the positive. So that's why in my champion artist expectations, have a positive attitude, believe in yourself, be creative and have fun. That's basically the life message of Alma Woodsy Thomas. Gotta love it. All right. So your composition can be horizontal, flat. It can be vertical, up and down. Uh, she did both. Um, you can include a shape as your starting point. Like here, you see the circle as the starting point and then her little mosaic bricks. Follow that circle pattern around and around and around until the page is full. These vertical compositions here are just like lines or strips of mosaic tiles. Um, and you can see they're not all perfect rectangles or squares. So you could kind of do the same thing if you want, or you could keep it uniform shape. Either way, there's some rhythm there for sure. Um, so here's one that is circular goes around and around. You can see the different sizes. Some are longer, some are shorter, some are fatter, some are skinnier. Um, this one almost creates a landscape within the mosaic tiles. So you could kind of do the same thing as well if you would like. Uh, but you still got to break up your brush strokes into little pieces so that there's just a little bit of white around it. There's not big areas of white, but just little uh, almost like a border around each shape. Think of it as a little border frame around each shape, but it's a very skinny frame, all right? Barely any white is showing through, but it gives that illusion of it being a mosaic tile. Here are some student examples uh, that we've done. A lot of people have chosen hearts as the center shape. Some have chosen circles, some have chosen squares. Here's some more student examples uh, where this one I love too because they started with the heart shape, then it kind of turned into a circle, and then they decided in the background to go with the vertical stripe. So a lot of visual interest there. Um, just amazing variety of pieces. Um, love it. So our directions, we're gonna use a lot of shades and tints to give value, so darkness and lightness. Shades, you add a little black. Tints, you add a little white. If you want it to be light, add some white. Think of the value scale. I did a video on how to create a color value scale. I want you to watch that as well. Uh, then you choose horizontal or vertical for your composition. You add a shape if you'd like, or you could just do the lines of color. Um, again, do that value scale first. Practice those different values. Use different values. Uh, and then once it's all dry, when the paper's full and you have a bunch of different mosaic pieces, then you can mount it on a colored background uh, if your heart desires. So here's my example. Notice there's size and shape, a variety of strokes. I've used some complementary colors next to each other as well to add contrast. So we're always thinking of how can we use even more elements and principles of design in our expressive work. Uh, and I took a photo of my work and value scale, but I also took a photo and changed it to black and white because if you can see it in the blacks, whites, and grays, you can really see, oh yeah, there is a transition of value. It's getting darker. So it's sometimes easier to see if you have good variety of values, uh, zero through eight on the value scale, um, if you take it in black and white. So you might want to do that too, to be like, okay, could I add more value? Do I have enough variety? If you can see like six, seven, eight different values on there, man, you have done a phenomenal job. Uh, so again, think of rhythm, think of color, think of value, shapes, uh, fill your page, excelente. All right, so now that you understand tints and shades, if we went back here uh, to some of our work, would you be able to pause and point out different tints? Would you be able to pause and point out different shades? Where do you see where Alma Woodsy Thomas has added a little black perhaps to her color? Where has she added white to her colors to make them lighter? So you can see in her work as well as my work where tints and shades are utilized, value is utilized. So I hope you enjoyed learning about Alma Woodsy Thomas and 
I get so pumped about her work. I hope that you get pumped too and it inspires some of your best abstract expressionist work yet. So uh, until next time, adios amigos.